Yep. Oh man, that one's heavier than those last two. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Andrew Nordby. If you haven't seen my YouTube channel, Fishing with Nordby, please go check it out. It's linked down below. I put a ton of videos out on fishing and everything fishing. But today, I'm out here on Gunnersville. Fall is here. The fish are feeding. It has been fun lately. Uh, you got about an hour or two window in the morning when they're really biting, hour or two window in the evening. Uh, but they're normally biting. Sun's come up. We're gonna try and catch us a few this morning. I got a mystery tackle box. We're gonna open it up, see what's in it. Gonna be using baits in it today. Got vertical lures, tube X. All right. Could rig that on a Texas rig or a jig. There's a little orange crawl looking jig from Zero Gravity. Woo, the 10,000 fish head hunter. We're gonna tie that sucker on. Oh, check this out. A Weston floating called spot on top water looks like a popper slash walking bait fish are hitting top water we're gonna tie that on too got some hooks always good to have some wide gap hooks and then some hoax fish stick baits I like it I like it little stick baits so let's tie a couple baits on let's get to fishing do a little MTB slam today I'm gonna start out fishing some grass out from this causeway and see if we can load up on a couple Let's go. All right. We are tying on this 10,000 fish head hunter. This thing looks delicious. Look at that hook, how it's just buried and hidden in there inside that fin. I love it. Do a polymer knot, go through the eyelet, back through. Do an overhand knot with your loop in, and then go around the bait. Wet your line, pull it tight. Just like that. Got a good grass line here. The fish should be pushing up on it. Don't really need live scope, but it doesn't hurt to have it on. In case I pan out, see a brush pile, see an extra clump of grass that I wouldn't have seen. This bluegill has such a nice little shimmy in the water. I like it, just slow roll it. We're gonna slow roll it around. Also got a little spillway over here. I don't know if you can see it, but when it rains, it's been raining recently. Water will come through that spillway. Fish will stack up. Bait comes through there. They feed on it. Get out of that grass. Should be fairly weedless with those fins over the hooks. I like that. We need weedless here on Gunners. There's one. Oh, it feels good. Smoked that bluegill, guys. Smoked it. Ooh. That feels like a good one. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Came out of that grass. That's crazy. Dove right back down in it. Not bad, not bad. Nice little ooh. <laughs> two pounder. All right, see, you, buddy. Go back home, down in that grass. There's so many fish that live in the grass on this lake. It's crazy. Any bait you can find that's somewhat weedless. Look at that, you got eelgrass down there, hydrilla down there. That's some good looking stuff. Ooh, just tick the top of the grass, thought I had another bite. Always make the same cast, two or three times after you catch one at least. Oftentimes there's another one down there with him, especially in the fall, they school up in packs. Let's see what this little guy looks like in the water. Oh yeah, he's got nice side to side action. It's kind of got a popper mouth on it, but it's a spook bait. I like that. Good rattles in it. Sweet. Cool looking little topwater bait. You guys can get good deals on these at your Carl's Club member. Super cheap versus going to the store. And you don't have to go to the store. Who wants to go to the store? Let's see if we can get one to eat this. Let's give it a harder yank if you get grass on it. Hopefully it'll pop off. Continue your cast. In this case, it did not. I 
I use Brave when I'm throwing top water. It floats, helps your bait stay up top, makes it look natural. Doesn't want to dive it down. Just fishes a little better with uh, Braid or Mono, something that floats. Can't do that. Need something weedless. That's a good looking bait though, man. I wish this was less grass. I'd throw the spook over this. It looks so good. Love it. All right, we're gonna throw a little Texas rig on with this little fat stick bait by Hoax Fish. A little quarter ounce. Again, tie on a polymer knot. Maybe. I don't drop the hook you can peg it I didn't peg it this time it's just a lightweight but pegging it does keep it out of the grass a little more sometimes but sometimes the fish feel that weight it's your choice <laughs> and Texas rig it just like that it's got a little slit in the side Put that hook through i like that tech expose it keep that bait straight that's gonna catch something calling it calling it just gonna drag it in and out of that grass there he is popped it right out of that grass good Yep, he's pretty good. Fighting hard. There we go. Come on, buddy. Yes, another one right in that grass. Gotta love it. So fat. Look how fat that fish is for a two pounder. Fish is fat. Great. See you, buddy. Had to switch it up. Something a little more weedless. I was dragging through there and came up against the weed, pop it over it, and then he was on there. You can see this grass on live scope. It looks pretty good right on the bottom. A little fish right under me. That's what a fish looks like sitting off, off the grass, but we're going in and out of that eel grass, hydrilla, a little bit of milfoil. Mm -hmm. All right, we've caught a couple so far on the... 10,000 fish headhunter, that bluegill sweet looking bait. The hook detaches when you hook one and it, it's sweet. Uh, the walking bait looked really good, but there's just too much grass, so we put on that Texas rig. We caught another one. Um, probably gonna roll around that Texas rig some more, see if we can get another one. Ah, it's been tough. It's been tough. We're gonna keep that up. Let's go. There's one. Yep. Oh man, that one's heavier than those last two. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's coming up. He's coming up. Stay down. Stay down. Woo. <laughs> Fighter, guys. Oh, that's a big and Oh, shoot. Oh, come on. Oh, gosh. Oh, I shouldn't have boat flipped him. Woo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. That's a five. Oh, man. That is a slaunch. <sighs> That is a tub, guys. Look how dark he is. Big old grass bass right there. Woo! <laughs> Look how fat he is. Oh my gosh. Well, we got us another one. I didn't know if we were going to. That's a five pounder. That's a five pounder, guys. Look at the mouth on that thing. Huge. I love it. You catch fours pretty often on Gunnersville. Now you run into fives, but not every day. It used to be a lot better lake out here but man that's beautiful see you buddy wow there he goes oh my gosh that's unreal unreal digging the texas rig did it today that was pretty awesome we caught some decent ones today i did get a couple more bites that i missed on that texas rig but you're not gonna catch them all. We caught some decent ones. That one was probably about five pounds. He was big. That's always fun running into a big old grass bass. Fishing the grass lines. Bass love hanging out in grass. If there's grass on your lake, 
uh, where you live or ponds. If there's not, try fishing rocks, try fishing stumps, try fishing anywhere those bass can sit by an ambush prey and uh, find the bait. They're going to be right there waiting to eat it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're going to catch you next time on the next episode. Stay tuned. Have a good day.